and we're live. But um, the, the show that's premiering that I'm really into right now is still Snowpiercer. Uh, season two is premiering week to week, and I'm following it, watching it as soon as it comes out. Um, I know you guys haven't picked it up yet, so I'll go ahead and spoil who the, like, the guest, st- who, who the new actor is for season two. Sure. It's, it's Sean Bean from, uh, from Lord of the Rings. Very you know, nice they, added, they added Sean Bean to the show, and he is wonderful. He is a really great villain, which is what they needed. He ah, is. So he's going to die again. He is. <laughs> a, God, I hope they get him soon. He's just a monster. He is just he's a, the guy running the front of the train, I assume. I don't want to go too much into the details, but like he is a real sociopathic megalomaniac. He's just whew, dark. Like he, he gets this. This one guy fails him. And. Uh, Sean Bean knows this guy has failed him in a certain way. And, he, and he's like, oh, you've come on in, come on in to like the, the nice part of the train. He's like, you've been working hard. You must be cold. How'd you like a bath? Because, you know, water is kind of in short supply. I think everybody's taking cold showers or whatever. But he's got a nice like Victorian freestanding tub in, yeah. in, in there. He, he's like, how would you like a bath? I don't know, sir. I, you know, it's no, no, no. Take your clothes off. I'll, I'll. He's just turning the tap on and everything. And the guy's stripping down naked, and Sean Bean starts stripping down naked too. And they get in the bathtub together, sort of facing each other and continuing their conversation. Of, that's, and that's just breezed by. <laughs> yes, okay. yes. It's it's very awkward. And uh, and and Sean Sean Bean says something to him. He's like, uh, while you were over there, um, do you have anything to eat? And the guy's like. Well, they had chicken. They had, they had chicken wings. And did you have any? Well, I was just so hungry. Ah, so they know that you are hungry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I, I, was, I haven't had chicken in seven years. And he's just <laughs> like, oh, well, and he gets out a straight razor. He's like, well, it'll all be over soon. You know, you've, you've served me well for these years. And he's, the guy takes the straight razor from Sean Bean. And he's just like, do I have to, sir? Go, go ahead. It'll all be over quickly. And the guy fucking cuts his own wrists in the bathtub and bleeds to bleeds out right there in the bathtub with Sean Bean while Sean Bean watches his life drain out of his body. Sean and Bean stays in the bath. Yeah, does he get all yeah, bloody and yeah. yucky? Okay. I think, I think he's into that. I think he likes being in the tub with people while they die because it's not the first time he's done it. Um, this is a recurring theme that he has people kill themselves in the tub. Yes, yes, okay. with and, him. You know, does and he's naked, so he's taking a big risk handing the blade to another guy in the tub with him. Oh, the guy would. I mean, that other guy would be taking a big risk if he tried to do anything with that blade. Because Boromir, like, like a like a combat expert. No, of. but like like you, just, he, he's God. He's he might as well be like 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 even if you struck him down two henchmen would come and kill you immediately, basically. One of his henchmen is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. So he has this henchman they call Icy Bob. And Icy Bob is, uh, I'm going to say he's 6'7", maybe 300 pounds. And he has undergone this treatment where they have, like, winterized him. And he has all of this, like, these patches of, like, synthetic skin fused all over his body so his face looks like a a, a a puzzle that's been hastily put together it's like a patchwork of, of of like flesh with like these ridiculous like scars in between and he can withstand like this negative 100 degree fahrenheit temperature for like not for a day or anything but for like seconds and minutes at a time so like when whenever they're having like this big battle in one of the train cars they just turn the fucking cold air on from the outside and it's blasting. This, and to a normal person, it touches them and they're screaming in pain. You know, the, the, the skin just immediately frostbites off your body. But Icy Bob is just wading through it, just fucking crushing people. I and see it's, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a part where, where I saw a like, picture. He's very scary looking. They're like, Same what thing. do you want us to do, Mr. Wilfer? He's like, send in Bob. And they're like, Bob. Icy Bob or Greasy Bob? Do you even have to ask? I don't know who Greasy Bob is, but I, I'd hate to see him. I don't know what his deal is. Maybe he's all slippery. <laughs> like, like, what's he gonna do? But, he's but like, I, he doesn't walk. He just slithers. 
He's really <laughs> Bob is the one. Quacka, 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 <laughs> and getting buttered up in his prison. Yeah, cell. it's a <laughs> it's a wild show. Like like I didn't know how they were gonna like make a second season because again I don't want to give too many spoilers, but it's 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 quite a bit different than what you saw in the movie. Like like mm. things are not in the the pieces are not in the same positions that they were in the movie uh, to say the least. But uh, you got like two or three strong actors and two or three more like good supporting actors and uh and a really interesting premise and i'm into it it's uh i think it's on tnt which is like whatever um i think i watched the first season for free on hbo and then uh i purchased the second season for like 22 bucks or something like that because like you know i finished the whole season of this shit and then they give you the first episode for free and i'm like I want to see what happens next. And there's two more already to, ready to like watch if I just plunk down a little cash. So I, I, I just did it. And I, I like the show. I don't think it's, it's not game of Thrones, you know, Hopefully pre not. pre abortion. It's, it, it's not like a breaking bad type level show, but it's, it's like a strong, it's a strong show. It's a s- real strong six, a real weak seven out of 10 type show well, that i cool think premise and the premise can pull it a long way that's that's pretty neat the premise is really neat and uh you know like i said there's there's a couple of actors that are that are pretty cool and it's very brutal violence very brutal violence lots of dismemberment uh cannibalism very bloody gory stuff a lot of freezing freezing. related things where like limbs are cracking and shattering freezing torture like like that's that's a method of torture they have like a hose that's sort of connected to the outside and they they can sort of use it like an airbrush instrument to like freeze one of your fingers and then shatter it with a hammer. If you're not going to talk, um, that happens. Um, and, uh, there are some like, it'll be like, like, like the, like, like Sean beans clearly like a bad guy, yeah. but like some of his henchmen are like Goebbels level evil. It's, it's like, 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 Oh, he's got people that work for him who are actually fucking evil evil so like, like, icy like bob's truly evil icy bob's actually a decent guy he's oh. just he's just got a job to do well, i just i just saw a picture of him he doesn't look like a decent guy he looks like a monster he spoke in the last episode and you're like oh i expect him to be like a mongoloid or something he's just like you know you really shouldn't cross them they're scary people and i'm like if i see bob's afraid of these people then they re- that's who i'm referring to like the people that i see mm. bob is i see bob is warning one character about two other characters he's like don't cross them don't rub them the wrong way they're dangerous and it's like that if i see bob's afraid of these people these people are like the scariest people in the show and sure enough like like they're like super scary like experimenting on human beings evil kind of people well, i mean that wasn't icy bob experimented on exactly so that's why he knows they're they're no good yeah they yeah. probably turned him into icy bob. pretty decent show i i, I it's it, it's got the kyle two thumbs up for like recommendation um that uh that last show i was watching uh what was it that i recommended and then i withdrew uh, my Tower, recommendation Dark Tower series no it was uh the, the stand you're close stand. also with stephen king yeah. um Dark Tower might be an interesting series. I those books lost me. I, I started reading those in prison, yeah. and I was just like, "Oh my god!" I, I he gets up into the weeds even more than usual. Woof. Come on, Stephen. How much coke were you doing when you were <laughs> writing this shit? Uh, yeah. But yeah, the stand lost me around episode eight out of ten or something like that. And I went back and finished it. Man, it really goes off the rails after that. It you know he's bad with endings, and I it, it's like. Mm-hmm it ends twice it's one of those movies it's like all right we took care of the bad guy now everything's hunky dory and then the characters are like i don't know let's get in a little more trouble and they spend a whole nother episode like getting in some more trouble and then end it and it's like oh, god you're terrible at this steven like like yeah. you need some you need a second writer to come in at the end and like put the finishing touches on on this Imagine the masterpieces how fucked up that, that would be like, like it the endings would never fit. The endings would suck just differently. They wouldn't fit. They'd be Lego They'd be pieces that don't go together. 